I love the way you said that too. You know it, but you don't understand it at all today, at least at this point. And isn't that the way it is? We wake up in a thought-generated experiential reality, and we're in that reality before we know thought has anything to do with it. So I, for me, when, I, when I'm not seeing it, I don't know it. I don't know it. I wish I did, but I don't. Not when I'm not, when I'm not seeing it. I mean, for, for me, I just thought, just stay in the game. <laughs> Good for you. Because um, either something will hit or something won't, if I can just stay in the game and get that, you know, the confidence back of, of, of it will come to me. Well, and the good thing to know is the confidence hasn't gone anywhere. No. There's a, there's a movie called The Legend of Bagger Vance. Did anyone ever see that? It's one of the great golfing films. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, Will Smith and Matt Damon. And uh, Matt Damon plays a, uh, a washed up professional golfer who's declined into alcoholism. And the opening uh, scene of the, the movie, or early on in the film anyway, he's, uh, no, it's not the opening scene, but early on in the film, it's nighttime and he's been, you know, knocking a few back. And he's out in the garden of the, uh, this is from my memory, so it may not be like this, but bear with me, the dilapidated house that he's living in. And he's got a, a whole bunch of ball, golf balls and he's just smacking these balls out into the field behind his house, just one after the other. And out of the darkness walks Will Smith. Comes right up the middle, and Matt Damon's like, Man, be careful, I almost hit you. Well, Will Smith is this guy, Bagger Vance, who seems to know something about the nature of golf. And he, he's, you know, inquiring about what's going on and that sort of thing. And uh, Matt Damon says, well, look, I've lost my swing, and I can't find it. And Will Smith says, well, you can't find your swing. It doesn't work like that. You need to relax and let your swing find you. And I kind of feel like that's sort of the case for you, Angela, that the realization, which it sounds like you're already having, that you don't need to do anything about this. Mm -hmm. That even though you were frustrated, on some level you knew you just wouldn't be able to stay that way forever. Mm -hmm. So I love that you're willing to stay in the game. Mm 